So it's one of those times I really wish, Brittany, that we could offer everyone smell-o-vision because this bacon you have rolling right here is delightful. The smell is, is really strong out here, but we're, we're uh, rendering off some bacon to do a corn and oyster chowder today. We've got some beautiful oysters from Ruby Salts. Yum. Um, this is an oyster uh, farm on the eastern shore of Virginia. And so what we're going to do is shuck a few, and I'll show you how to do this. Right now we've got some diced bacon going on in the uh, pot, and we're just going to add some small diced fennel and shallot. Ooh, what an interesting bl blend. I just think fennel is really nice with seafood, um, also with corn. So we'll just get that going and render it out a little bit. And while we're doing that, I'm going to show you how to shuck an oyster. Okay, cool. I hit fast forward, by the way. This is Brittany Anderson. She is one of the featured chefs in the lineup for the Shell Razor Shindig. It's coming up this weekend. A fantastic event raising awareness on the importance of recycling oyster shells here in Virginia. We just heard all about it. Uh, this is an amazingly delicious lineup. Are you excited, Brittany? I'm so excited. I actually haven't been able to do it the past two years. So, but we've been working with Todd and the, um, the program for years at Metzger Bar and Butchery. Um, and so for us to get to participate in their biggest fundraiser of the year is really exciting. It's a huge, huge deal. I mean, I'm, you see me flipping through my pages because I'm trying to find the complete lineup here of all of the chefs. All of their oyster regions are represented, which is really important. We have this amazing lineup of chefs that include Walter Bundy from Shagbark, Patrick Willis from La Mer, you're part of it. Uh, let's see, Andrew Manning, uh, Dale Reitzer of Acacia Midtown, and Mike Ledesma. A lot of folks who we've had on the show with us before. You were here years ago, but it's super nice to have you back. I'm so glad to be back. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got a few of these oysters shucked. Beautiful, easy to, to shuck oysters. Should I try? You want to try one? I want to do it. Oh, my God, I'd love that. All right, so these are uh, these amazing toadfish oyster shucker knives mm -hmm. that um, are really incredible. Are they guaranteed not to jab you if you get a little Probably zealous? Probably not, but this is actually a puncture resistant. Okay. So make sure you wash your hand. Mm -hmm. I would put it down on the ground. And it holds? Like fold it, yes. Okay. And then there you go. While you're doing that, I'm going to add some stuff mm. to this soup. Just gonna deglaze with a little bit of white wine. I might be pushing it down too much. You're gonna find a little joint inside. And once you feel like you got in, then you, you switch. So go in flat. Okay, two weeks later, folks, I will have cracked an oyster. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Oh, man. Don't help me, Brittany. All right, I can I'm do just this. gonna keep giving you tips. You keep. All the way in flat and then twist. Try a new one. So this is just some oysters. These are the ruby salts we shucked earlier with a little bit of their uh, liquor. Now, it seems like chowder would be incredibly, I don't know, complicated, sensitive to make, slash then you put oysters in the mix and it's like, I, I feel like I would overcook them in a heartbeat. I think chowder is one of the easiest things to make. It's really just kind of a bunch <laughs> of yummy things all in one <laughs> pot. <laughs> yeah, you're in? <laughs> all right, she did it. She's in. I'm in. <laughs> and then when you, Take the shell off the top. You're going to want to come flat mm -hmm. so you disconnect it. I would, this is you the part where you want that towel. Guess who has a giant long scar on her hand from, oops. There you go. Well, that's cool. You did All it. All right, we did it. Look, I'm in. Right. I'm in. Okay, not and then too much shell. And scoop it out from the bottom. Okay. And you're straight. Wipe your knife. We're going to add some corn puree to this. Can I put this one right in? Yeah, you can go right in. There's like a muscle thing right Right, so you want to just cut it. Cut it. Mm hmm. I have butchered this, Brittany. No, it doesn't matter. It's going to go in a soup, so it's perfect. Okay. There you go. Here, I'll just grab it. All right. <laughs> oh, teamwork makes the dream yes. work. Thank you, Brittany. No problem. But so. it's, it's important like that, you know, to recognize it takes a lot of work to make these things happen from start through finish, right? And then it is back true. in the system again. Definitely does. And I think that um, a lot of people don't realize when they buy a, you know, a quart container of pre-shucked oysters. I mean, that's a lot of work to mm -hmm. shuck probably a hundred oysters in one of those things. So somebody's doing it. Um, hopefully they're faster than we are, but. <laughs> I think that was commentary on my oyster show. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're, you're totally spot on. If I had to work for dinner, I'd be a hungry gal. So we're just gonna finish this off with a little heavy cream to lighten it up. And by lighten it up, you mean in color? In color, <laughs> not in fat content. Man, that looks delicious. So you saw how quickly we put that together. Yes. Um, very simple to do. I'm just going to give it a taste. Of course, you were very quick with shucking the oysters, too, and I mm. took a little while. Oh, 
pretty good if you I do like say it. so yourself. <laughs> okay. I love and it. And add a little bit of salt awesome. and a little bit of black pepper. So the event is gonna be so much fun. I know you said you hadn't had the chance to be there the last few years, you're really excited about it. It's really cool to work with like-minded chefs. I mean, you've got a lineup of chefs that are all busy recycling oyster shell here in uh, our greater Richmond region. And even further than that, the footprint of this program has gone really far reaching. It's pretty incredible, um, just the amount of shell we generate in restaurants that, that the VC Rice River Center had the ability to come up with this program come and get all these oysters from us. And um, it makes us feel good about yeah. what we do and that part of you know selling a lot of oysters can contribute to the um, quality of the bay. I love it. Producer gave me a wrap. Can I just dip out of here real sure, quick? Sure, sure. just taste it? There's Give it a, a taste. There's extra bako bits on there. Gonna read some information again about the fantastic event coming up. The Shell Razor Shindig is the 22nd. It's on Sunday that from two to 5 p.m. Libby Mill Midtown, 4901 Libby Mill East Street. Ticket $75 for a single, $135 for a pair. So grab a date, go out there and make it a big event.